everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me for your mid-month check-in for the Twin Flame Soul Connections out there. So this is going to be a very special, sensual, intimate, extended reading on the Divine Masculine, which means if you are under the age of 18, now is your chance to click off and have a blessed day in the Lord, as clearly some of the images in the Tarot of Sexual Magic can be kind of juicy. So we definitely don't want any childhood tarot related traumas up in here. If that is you, click off and like I said, exit stage left. If you are here for the sweet, the nasty, that gushy stuff, then you're in the right place. So as always, comment below if it resonates. If not, check my channel for other messages you need to hear. And remember time, energy, and gender are fluid. So swap them rolls like spit if you need to. And definitely Definitely like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So my lovely subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. For those of you who already know, I'm sorry, but I gotta tell y'all, it's my two year anniversary on YouTube. I'm so excited. So for those of you who have been sticking around since the beginning, again, I love you guys, appreciate your love and support so much. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit me up on social media. All of my links and everything you'll need to contact me are down below in the description box, including but not limited to my spicy subscriber society members only link so if you enjoy these sensual extended readings and this is like right up your alley then join us over there because we love to cut up we love to get down and dirty um, and I think that you would really enjoy yourself so if that's you we'll see you over on the other side and definitely stay tuned at the end of this message as there will be a spicy subscriber message for you guys to enjoy so of course since it is my two-year anniversary I would love to give back and show my gratitude by offering you guys 50% off on all private readings and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have this one extend to the end of April so definitely check my social media page and my community tab for all the deets but other than that, you guys, let's get into it. I'm excited about this reading. Um, we're about to embark on a new astrological year. Pisces season is finally coming to a close. We're building up to the full moon in Virgo in a couple of days. Um, and you guys, I cannot even believe that we're in the middle of March. Like it's insane how fast time time goes by, right? So let's get into it. Let's see what is going on for this divine masculine. I'm going to get a couple shuffles in as I literally just knocked a bunch of cards onto the floor, like a whole bunch. And you know what, you guys, I'm going to pick them up real quick, but I want to share with you the one card out of all the cards that just fell, which as I'm looking at this chunk, it's about 30 cards. The one card that's face up is the Ace of Wands, literally the penis card popping up right out the bat. So like I said, this is going to be a sexual, sensual energy reading. So this card popping out just tells me that these DMs are out there literally like <laughs> all the way turned on, you guys, okay? This card could literally represent having a heart on. This card could just represent sexual fantasies, okay? Taking action, having a passionate new beginning. So we obviously know what the underlying theme of this reading is going to be. I'm just going to pop this bad boy over here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what we have from the Queen of the Moon Oracle as a part of the overall message. What do we need to see in regards to the masculine's journey? And as you guys already know, I talk about this a lot on my channel, but for those of you who are new, if you do resonate with the Twin Flame journey, then you should know that the most important part of this journey is you. So as, as fun as it is to check up on the Divine Masculine, see what the hell they're up to, it's more important for us, okay, to focus on inner union, right? Being in union with ourselves, remembering that we are whole and complete with or without that meat suit standing there next to us. So this journey is about neutrality. It's about finding peace in the stillness. It's about remembering that separation is an illusion uh, because 
twin flames are of the same soul, right? So how can you be separate from that which you are? Um, remember that this journey is about your spiritual ascension, your spiritual growth. So keep that in mind. If you are in separation in the physical from your twin flame, then ask yourself, what do you need to work on within in order to come into union with you, right? In order to come to that place of neutrality. So speaking of, we have the assessing card, okay? So I kind of feel like this reminds me a little bit of like the Page of Swords energy. So I feel like the Divine Masculines right now are definitely taking a look through the telescope <laughs> metaphorically trying to find out what what we're doing what the divine feminine is up to this could be them assessing their situation okay assessing the risk trying to see into the future uh, trying to assess the damage that maybe they've done uh, in the relationship with the feminine or maybe just kind of uh, feel out the feminine and see how you know how she might respond towards the Ace of Wands, okay? So uh, clearly, like I said, there is a very strong sexual and sensual energy popping out right from the beginning. Divine Masculine is literally um, keeping their eyes open for the feminine right now, assessing the situation, assessing the damage, all right? So I just want to also tell you guys a little bit of... Um, of what I've been going through recently. And it starts out with a dream that I had the other day where I was making out with Vincent D'Onofrio. So for those of you guys who don't know who that is, if you've never seen Daredevil, um, he's the bad guy, okay? He's the villain. He is Wilson Fisk, the kingpin, AKA the, the villain in Spider-Man in Daredevil in Hawkeye, okay, of the Marvel Universe. So Fisk is this giant, like, rock, okay? He's like a fucking boulder of a man. And there's something very powerful about him, right? And even though he's the villain, if you really look into his story, right, villains are always made. They're never born. They're created. And so based on everything that Wilson Fisk goes through and, and what he deals with to become who he is, um, his story involves childhood trauma, okay? It involves being around an abusive father, um, a passive and enabling mother. And growing up in that sort of environment can really do some damage, right? And we talk about the masculines having... Um, having expectations of them, right? Or having society basically uh, force these masculines into a distorted energy of being obsessed with their physical world where, you know, again, villains are made. And I think that this dream that I had was so symbolic because I was making out with Wilson Fisk. And as you know, Wilson Fisk's only true love was Vanessa, okay? And Vanessa loved him regardless of all of the horrible things that he would do to people and the uh, very sus ways that he would get around the system to get what he wanted, right? He ruled the entire police force, okay? He went to prison and he basically became the kingpin inside the prison, all right? Controlling everyone around him. Everyone around him was paid. So, Anyways, I'm sitting there and I'm swapping spit with Vincent D'Onofrio in my dream. And I look over to the side um, and Vanessa is laying on the table crying. And I look back at Vincent and instead of seeing him, I'm looking at my divine masculine. And it just made me feel like like there's been a major turning point within these divine masculines. I almost just feel as if this message was telling me that on some level, my divine masculine does not want me to see him as the villain, okay? And this also reminds me of Shadow and Bone where Ben Barnes' character says, 
make me your villain, right? Like it's so dramatic, like fine, I'll be the bad guy if I have to be. So a lot of these masculines have been um, creeping around in the shadows, okay, doing their assessing, doing their watching and waiting and stalking and, <laughs> and, and doing things behind the scenes, right? But all from trying to protect other people, protecting everyone's feelings, um, protecting just themselves even, right? Protecting you, Divine Feminine. So a lot of these masculines have spent so much time trying to appear like the good guy for the benefit of everyone else in their life with only one minor sacrifice, one minor sacrifice, not being able to truly be happy, okay? Not being able to live in their authenticity. By protecting everyone else around them, what they've ended up doing is really coming to that point of understanding that they just might have to be the bad one, okay? They might have to be the bad guy in this scenario. Someone's going to get hurt. Okay. And I think that that dream was, was my divine masculine's way of reaching out to me and letting me know, like, I'm going to have to be the bad guy. I'm going to have to be because if things are really going to shift and change, I'm going to have to be the bad guy in someone's story. Right. And I think that that's so important because obviously, um, people, outsiders love to toss in their opinions of of us as divine feminines right um we're often labeled as as the home wreckers and the hooahs and you know uh the the women out here trying to steal someone's man and and you know it's just a really difficult stigma to live with because clearly okay and i know there are some shitty people out there but for the most part we're not out here just trying to take someone's man, right? We're not out here trying to lure someone away from, from their person, okay? That's not the intention here. And I think that a lot of divine masculines are starting to realize, like, that the feminine basically is getting thrown under the bus left and right, but she's also living in her truth, in her authenticity, She's not allowing the opinions of others to keep her stuck and trapped. So as we divine feminines break through those barriers and we decide that we're no longer going to be held in those cages of what everyone likes to call us and label us as, so too are the divine masculines starting to shift in their outer world. Okay. Now for a lot of you, this might resonate, but I feel as if for, um, the majority actually that the masculines have been trying to protect you. Okay. That might sound like an excuse. It might sound like justification for bad behavior. But again, if you are on the true twin flame journey, I'm never talking about someone who just is a fucking abuser, okay? Or someone who is downright fucking toxic or openly using you or, you know, purposefully stringing you along without, you know, divorcing or any of those scenarios, right? I'm talking about your true twin flame, someone who is doing everything in their power to protect you from the forces in which they have signed up to deal with, okay? So I feel like protection has been a big theme, trying to protect everyone around them, trying to protect themselves, trying to keep everything from falling apart, trying to look like the good guy, trying to please everyone, doing what everyone else is told. And all the while, Divine Feminines, we have been protected by our guides, by our ancestors, angels. The universe has got our back. And the masculine is starting to recognize that there's no need to be desperately trying to do anything except breaking free and protecting their own happiness. Okay. The divine masculines have had the same vision that we have. Okay. They've had the same confirmations that we have. They've had the same signs, the same synchronicities, 
but they've been ignoring their higher self for a very long time, which has been kind of a struggle for the divine feminines out there. I know it has, but ultimately it's all been for our protection. Okay. Not just ours, but the divine masculines as well. Sometimes things are not ready to be revealed to us until we've reached a certain level of understanding. So as we peel back the onion layers of the divine masculine, okay, and now I'm making a Shrek reference because that's what it's like, okay? It's exactly like that. As you peel back the layers of the onion of the divine masculine, you start to realize that, you know what? It's not so stinky, right? It's, it's sweet. There's a sweetness there, okay? And I'm thinking of the movie Holes now, where he literally su survived off of onions, okay? So I know I'm kind of getting off on a tangent, but going back to that dream that I had about Vincent D'Onofrio, it's just kind of crazy because, you know, regardless of what the masculine has to do, right? regardless of of how they have to appear to the people in their world right now bottom line is period point blank the divine masculines know that we are their vanessa to their wilson fisk okay we're gonna love them and we're gonna be there for them regardless of whatever has to be done because that's what we fucking came here for right that's why we came here to this earth that's why we've already met our twin flame for some of us that we've met them in the real physical world okay there are some of you who haven't actually physically met your twin flame yet but but you're still being drawn to these readings because somewhere deep down you know that you are also on the journey, okay? So just kind of keep all that in mind. I feel like there's been a major, major shift in the perception of the divine masculine. So again, we have the assessing card, the protection card, the ace of wands. They're looking out to see and test the waters, okay? Because some of you divine feminines have put your own walls up, have put your own barriers up because I think some of you might be afraid that um, you're, you're going to get hurt, right? That you're going to be abandoned again. And those are the type of wounds that I was talking about when I was saying if there's anything that you're still holding on to that needs to be purged or let go of so that you can come to that place of union within yourself, then that assessing card could potentially be for you, okay? So all these cards are coming out in chunks, but... We have the one message here. So the darkness, okay, the long night moon. And we have this rabbit here, which reminds me of the Empress. So some of you have been through a really long, dark night of the soul. And, um, you know, some of you could potentially still kind of be in a dark night of the soul. But since this reading is on the divine masculine, I feel like it's important to say that some of these masculines are tapping into their feminine energy right now during this time alone. So they're watching you feminine because they're learning from you. They're watching you because they see you creating things, living freely, happily. And and I'm not saying every one of y'all's lives is perfect, but at least you're doing the things that you know are going to lead to your freedom, your happiness, your power. Okay? Divine feminine energy is is so important, okay? And the masculine has needed to tap into that energy for a long time. But that's the purpose of the dark night of the soul, okay? It's to awaken. It's to shed away all of the masks and the bullshittery that they've been hiding behind and, and strip away with every tower moment imaginable the false foundations that have never even deserved a leg to stand on in the first place, okay? So these masculines are really coming to terms with these things during this time alone and during this separation. So obviously we also have the energy of a new moon, which tells me that the masculines are also focused on manifesting this new life, okay? This new life of abundance, of happiness, of pleasure, okay? They, they don't want to sit back and watch Forever Feminine, okay? And I know that it might be fun to watch, 
okay? And for some of you, you know what I'm talking about and the masculines could absolutely love watching you pleasure yourself, okay? So think about like sex in the 5D. Anytime you pleasure yourself, that energy is felt by your divine masculine. When you unblock those chakras, when you are open to the creative energy of the universe and you tell yourself like, I'm connecting with the source, your masculine cannot help but feel that energy, okay? So again, the more work you do on yourself, the more time you focus on manifesting your happiness, on planning your life, the masculine is literally only steps behind you, feminine. They're following your lead, and that is why they are watching you, because they see that you made it through that dark night of the soul. They see you thriving now, feminine. And in a way, there's almost a hint of jealousy that I'm feeling here because they see you and they see how far you've come and how strong you are to have done what they couldn't do. And it makes them want to do it, okay? So a very interesting, we also have resistance at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, you know, maybe these masculines have really been resisting this change, um, really fighting against the grain, even though, look, all of these trees are still growing. Look at the birds, the ladybug, everything. It's still happening. There's all this magic happening, even though this fist is tightly closed. So we talked about earlier, the more you cling to things that don't resonate with you, that don't belong in your environment, the more the universe is going to show you, okay, and make it painstakingly obvious that it's going to happen anyway, okay? The changes are happening whether you like it or not. And that's what these masculines are understanding. Like no matter how hard they resist your energy feminine, they simply cannot because you continue to grow and flourish and thrive. That energy is what's lifting them up and piquing their interest and causing them to watch you intently, okay? So we have patience underneath that with a portal right behind. So feminines, this could be a message directly from your masculine asking you to have patience with them, okay? Remember what it was like walking through that portal into the darkness, how afraid you were when you went into separation, how tormented you were, okay? The masculines are going through that right now and they're starting to emerge out of that cocoon. They're making plans behind the scenes. They're preparing to manifest a new life with you. So spirit is telling you to be patient, just like they're telling the masculines, okay? Because with this Ace of Wands energy, there's this feeling of anticipation that's building, okay? And it's exciting. It's new. It's passionate. It's real. And some of these masculines could also be reminded of that first initial spark, that meeting, okay? They could be having memories of, of going back to the day, right, when y'all met, and maybe they've ignored it before, feminine. Maybe they've um, been able to brush it under the rug in the past. But these feelings are still there, okay? The fire still burns. So as you can see, we have the two um, individuals. Maybe you can't see because there's kind of a blur. But there's two individuals standing in the fire together, okay? And it's feeling a little twin flamey up in this card. So I'm just going to tell you, this masculine is... <sighs> Y'all, this masculine is hungry for you, okay? They're howling at the moon. They're thirsting for you. They can't help it. The more you rise in your power, feminine, the more they rise physically, okay? So <clears throat> enough said on that. So let's move straight into the tarot. I know we got a lot of oracle messages here. Um, but ultimately, like I said, I feel as if the masculines are wanting to create this new passionate beginning with you. And look at that creation right underneath. We have blueprints here. This could be very relevant for some of you. It's relevant for me, Last year, I had a dream that I was looking at blueprints to a new home with my masculine. So 
the masculines definitely have this in their mind. They're preparing, okay? They're, they're setting the stage and they're creating the scene for what their life is going to be like when they are finally back in your arms, okay? So let's get into the tarot and see what this masculine is thinking. I should say this masculine collective. What's going on in their conscious awareness for the masculines, please? Ooh, nine of pentacles. We got Creeper McGee stealing a lock of hair. Okay, I'm getting a little necrophilia vibes up in here. <laughs> what the hell? So clearly she is asleep, all right? And he is taking a lock of her hair. So for some of you, now stick with me. For some of you, your masculines could be um, like sneaking away in the night, Okay, that might sound kind of dramatic, but the nine of pentacles represents someone who is single, someone who is free, someone who is satisfied with themselves, someone who has beat codependency, who doesn't need anyone else to thrive. This is pre-empress energy. So again, they could be thinking of you as as this is you, you're single, you're thriving, okay? You could be a business owner, feminine. You could be just very stable and secure right now, okay? And even if you don't feel that way, maybe just the simple fact that you're single makes this masculine think of you as someone to be admired, okay? This lock of hair is a symbol. This masculine could be thinking about something maybe that you've given him, um, holding on to some sort of token of affection to like remember you by. But ultimately when they think of you, they they think of someone who is successful and don't need nobody, okay? You don't need anybody. That's what they know about you. So let's also see how they're feeling. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we have the Six of Cups and we have the Emperor coming up in the reverse, I might add, okay? The Emperor in the reverse, in their hard space, and the Six of Cups, I mentioned earlier that this masculine could be having memories about when you first met, okay? Going back to the very beginning of y'all's story, being reminded of, of times of the past where they felt happy, where they were actually legitimately fucking happy. You can see her looking in the mirror um, and kind of longing too, right? There's the lovebirds here and we have this scroll in her hands. Like there's a message that she wants to send, okay? So in the masculine's heart, they want to reach out based on that nostalgia, okay? They want to connect. This is a past life connection. So they know in their heart that they're connected with you at a soul level. But with the emperor coming up in the reverse, I feel like this masculine collective is having some issues with coming out of distorted energy, okay? Um, some of them might be having some confidence issues or being unsure about their ability to take control of this situation. In their heart, they could just simply be feeling like they're not good enough, okay? Um, the emperor in the reverse too, like I said, represents someone who is um, engulfed in the material world, okay? Um, distorted energy is like being a slave to the money, all right? Being a slave to the time clock, the, the paycheck, okay? Being overly focused on the things that really kind of don't fucking matter in the end. But, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles too, this masculine could be fighting for their independence right now, okay? So maybe they don't feel like they're they're the man or woman that you deserve right now, but these memories that they have of you and, and seeing who you are truly and knowing in their soul that, that you're the one for them, it is helping, okay? It's helping them to sort things out inside and helping them to really truly realize the patterns of toxicity that they've been stuck in, okay? We don't want no emperor in reverse showing up at our door, 
We want our emperor and their divine masculine energy, okay? So let's talk about how this masculine is viewing you. So we have the judgment card. So yeah, they're viewing you as, um, I don't know why I just heard sent from heaven. So listen, we've got this Cupid, okay, blowing his little his little rose, okay, instead of a horn. We have these two individuals being pulled together by the red string of fate, and this child is assisting, okay? So some of y'all could have spirit babies on the other side waiting to be born. Um, but this masculine sees you as, as if you were sent from heaven. They're getting reminders of you, okay? And also, they see you as... I wanted to say they see you as judgment. So they could see you as like judging them um, or like waiting for them to make some sort of a judgment call. So again, this could be a couple of different things for you guys. But when I see judgment, I'm, I'm thinking of like uh, something being resurrected from the past. Okay. So again, going back to this past life connection, they could be feeling like, okay, um, I see you. I know that we're being pulled together by the divine for a specific purpose, but you know, feminines, you could also be facing judgment day on a wide scale of details as well. Okay. So not every one of us is out here living our bestest lives, even though that's the goal. Some of us have some things that we need to, to make decisions on. Okay. There are some things that we have to make a judgment call on and maybe they're seeing that. Okay. So what is this masculine's likely actions moving forward? Uh, six of Pentacles. Look at who showed up. If it ain't apple titties, okay? Six of Pentacles is um, a card of balance and reciprocity, okay? So I think that this masculine is fully aware that they breadcrumbed you in the past, feminine. They definitely see that they left you all by your lonesome to rub them apples on your titties all by yourself, okay? And, you know, not to suck my own titty or anything, but huh, nobody puts baby in the corner. You ain't going to schedule a date with me to be rubbing apples on titties and then you don't show up. So I think this masculine is really considering how unbalanced things were in the past. Maybe owning up to the fact that they breadcrumbed you. Um, you know, obviously this is a card of third parties. So you see, though, that the masculine is coming in the back. All right. He's creeping in the back dough. So Apple Titties, unaware, is, you know, she's carrying on with her day. She's like, all right, all right, fine. He didn't show up. I'm going to have to provide this sensual pleasure of apples to myself, okay? So this masculine's likely intentions or actions moving forward are to bring in the balance, okay? Finally, show reciprocity for the energy that was given by the feminine in the past. For some of you, this masculine could come and surprise the shit out of you, okay? If they show up with a basket of apples, please do let me know in the comments. So let's talk about, ooh, I just uh, went to shuffle the deck and it was upside down and I caught a glimpse of the strength card. So, you know, masculines are showing their strength right now. They're showing that they can... Um, that they can tame the beast, okay? For some of you, the beast could represent a karmic partner, okay? Or some sort of a karmic situation that they've needed to get under control. This could also simply say that the masculine has been holding back their stronger feelings for you. But ultimately, strength is a card of confidence and willpower and courage, okay? So that is obviously what the masculines need in order to bring in this balance. So let's talk about what their true desires are. What is it that they really, really, really want feminine? Ugh, okay, so of course we have the Knight of Wands, all right? We couldn't get a king. We couldn't get a king. Come on now. This masculine just truly wants to pick up your naked behind and put you on the back of a horse and ride off into the sunset with you, okay? That is what I'm seeing here on this card. There's 
a lot of passionate energy here. He's literally squeezing the shit out of them titties. And I really feel like you would definitely enjoy this yourself, feminine. The issue that I have with the Knight of Wands is that even though there's a lot of passion here, there's a lot of um, energy, forward motion. Okay, this is someone like taking action without really thinking things through, okay? And for some of you, you you might be like, hell to the yeah, maybe you need to stop thinking masculine. Maybe you need to finally come over with that horse and whisk me away into our fantasy land. Some of y'all probably don't even give a shit, right? You probably just want your masculine to show up. Come on in, strip on down. <laughs> Let's get it going, right? But the thing I have about the Knight of Wands is that usually the follow through ain't so great, okay? And typically there's fear that keeps the Knight of Wands from committing. So the masculine could really just truly desire to take action without thinking things through. And again, even though they're planning the future, they might not have a long-term plan in place just yet, okay? They might still be really scared to come forward in your direction. Okay. So interesting. Very interesting. So what's going on behind the scenes for this masculine as I get the hiccups? Probably because I'm talking so much. Behind the scenes, please, for the masculine going on in there behind the scenes that we're unaware of yeah the seven of wands so you might not be aware of this feminine but this masculine is fighting for this connection okay they're standing up for themselves finally and you know I love this card because it's almost like reminds me of like a little secret meeting um but it's it's sensual right it's it's not like some ravishing scene where like people are ripping off clothes like He's gently tracing her back and and being very intimate with her, right? But the seven of wands represents someone who, like I said, is fighting for what's right. This is the warrior's pose. So different imaging in the tarot of sexual magic, obviously, which, I, which will definitely inspire intuitive messages. But the meaning behind this is this masculine is really, really standing up for themselves. And I'm really proud of whoever this is for because I have a feeling, like I said, in the past, they didn't put up much of a fight, did they? Probably not, right? And like I said earlier, for some of you, they just kind of swept it under the rug, basically acted like you didn't exist, ghosted you, pretended like they didn't have feelings for you, probably straight up fucking lied to people about you. But at the end of the day... It's you that they're watching. It's you that they're protecting. It's you that that dick is rising for, okay? It's you, feminine. It's always been you. And that's exactly why this masculine is fighting for what's right behind the scenes. I even mentioned too earlier about the masculine maybe um, like running away in the night, okay? So this masculine is doing what it takes to fight for this connection. I'm getting chills, y'all. So um, let's talk about this masculine's challenge. What is their challenge, please? Their challenge is um, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? So they might be going through a period of unluckiness, Okay, they could be dealing with some karmic cycles right now that still need to be completed. Um, and I'm hearing down on their luck. Okay, so back to what we talked about with the dark night of the soul. That's basically what it is, but the extreme of that. Okay, so, you know, maybe they might be making light of it, like saying, oh, I've just been down on my luck recently or things aren't going so well for me. But really, they're like, ah you know what I mean? So the wheel of fortune in the reverse, there are still some karmic cycles that need to come into completion. 
could also be um, their challenge of like having to try to see the positive in things, trusting that it's not always going to be like this forever and remembering that the wheel is always turning. Okay. So while that card might come up in reverse today, it could certainly come up upright tomorrow. So again, fighting for what's right, regardless, knowing that even though, um, you know, they might be down on their luck right now, this is still a card of destiny, okay? So their challenge too could be them worrying that they missed out on on being with the person that they feel destined to be with, okay? But, you know, something they need to learn too is that you can't fuck up anything that's meant for you, right? So if this is destiny, all they need to do is keep fighting for their authenticity. They need to keep fighting to say what they need to say and, and be who they need to be in order for that wheel to officially turn, okay? So bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. And it was in the reverse, but as you can see, we've got these two individuals planning. And that's what this card is about. It's about planning for the future, Okay, being at a little bit of a crossroads. So with this card being in the reverse, coming up in the past energy, this masculine spent a long time really just not knowing what the fuck to even do, okay, which direction to even go. They were probably very confused about the future. And if anything, they knew that, that what they were doing isn't what was making them happy, right? Which is the whole reason why they realized that they were at this crossroads for a reason. They've been being pushed and urged and prodded by the universe to wake up, okay? To realize what's really going on. So this little secret meeting over here, this could be representative of you and this person connecting in the 5D, Okay, coming into union behind the scenes and getting on the same page. So very, very interesting energy. And then look at that. Right underneath that, we have the five of wands. So, you know, this, imagine this, right? Knowing that you're supposed to be doing this with the person that you love, but having to deal with shit behind the scenes. Okay, you can see he's peeking out from behind the curtain. I feel like this is the masculine watching the feminine, okay? And maybe some of you feminines have engaged in sexual relations with other partners, right? Soulmates, maybe you've gone on dates. Um, even if you're not having sex, even if you're fucking celibate, like the masculine is watching you enjoy your life, they're watching you take pleasure in creating a new life for yourself. And I have a feeling that, look, and you know, we've got all these tools here too. We've got the wand, okay? Interestingly placed, I might add. It literally looks like he has a fucking erection that's on fire. We have the sword, okay? We have the cup, but funny how we don't have the pentacle, right? We're missing the pentacle. What we have here is a mirror, okay? So these masculines are being forced to look in the mirror at what they've been chasing, right? They've been chasing their coin. They've been chasing things in the physical. But really deep down and behind the curtain, they want to speak their truth. They want to share their love. They want to share their passion with you feminine, but all they can do is watch from behind the scenes right now. And they're conflicted as hell. And the five of wands does also represent arguments, aggression, competition. So the masculine could be quite worried that you've moved on. Okay. Scared that they're going to have to compete for your love with someone else. This could also be them having issues with karmic partners behind the scenes. So, um, Keep that in mind, okay? And then underneath that, we have the Knight of Cups. Like I said, they want to share their love. And they might come up and surprise you, Feminine, because this has been going on within them for a very long time. And I think that that's also part of it too, right? I think some of these masculines have been afraid to come forward because they're under the impression that we're expecting something from them, right? We're expecting all of this from them when they can barely get their own shit together. And that's intimidating, right? Because feminines, we have high standards, okay? We're not just out here in these streets accepting love offers from every Tom, Dick, and Harry, okay? So 
The masculine could be feeling very intimidated right now. They could also be dealing with a partner that makes them feel emasculated. Um, but ultimately with the page of pentacles, now we got all wine titties up in here. The masculine knows that what they need to do is to break away and start investing in themselves. And the energy of the page is very slow moving, okay? This page is taking their time. They're savoring this, okay? Because they know that they're working towards their freedom. They know that by investing in themselves, that eventually they're going to have this opportunity with you. All right, which is why in their mind, they're focused on this nine of pentacles energy. So interesting messages. Let's get some clarity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarot of Sexual Magic mini and clarify their thoughts and feelings, please. So we literally have the page of swords in the reverse. So look at this. Same sort of energy as the assessing card, right? Feminine's over here living her best life. She's like, oh, I think I feel a draft. I will, oh, shit, I forgot to wear a dress today. And the masculine's literally sniffing her ass, okay? He's admiring her. So you might not even realize, feminine, just how close the masculine is to communicating. But they're going to spend a great deal of time watching you first, Okay, they are watching you. Let's clarify how they're viewing you. So we have the High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles. So they are seeing you as like they're lost without you. They're definitely pining for you. They also see you um, as listening to your intuition knowing the answers it's like they see you seeing them and they know that you know that they're struggling okay this is a mirrored energy here that I'm feeling so this judgment card to clarify for that they know that you know they're struggling they could be um five of pentacles is also my card for like a division of assets or like once the divorce is final type scenario, um, having half of what you had before, uh, struggling financially. This could also be a lack mentality. So it's almost like the masculine is popping up with the judgment card because they know that you know, feminine. <laughs> they know they can't hide anything from you. So this judgment card could be them feeling like you are judging them for their situation, okay? So this five of pentacles too, I love how we have this secret meeting over here, the violin, it's just very, it's a very longing sort of an energy. But the high priestess is divine feminine energy as well, right? There's an inner knowing here, there's wisdom. All the secrets of the universe are within the divine feminine. But also, the high priestess keeps her secrets. So the masculine could also be watching you just keeping to yourself, right? They could also be watching you if you are a high priestess. Like if you are an influencer, if you, are, if you have a channel, if you have an Instagram, if you, um, you know, do tarot or help anyone in life, okay? They're watching you. They see how smart you are. And they see that you're keeping to yourself, possibly trying to, you know, come out of some sort of a financial struggle yourself, feminine. So let's uh, elaborate on apple titties over here. <clears throat> like what is an intimate reading without apple titties? I don't even know. So we have the Knight of Cups again, right? They're definitely wanting to um, not only bring in the balance, but do so by making an emotional offer. They want to tell you that they feel romance for you. They want to come in and sweep you off your feet, feminine. But again, the knights are, are still a little afraid. But again, it's proving that this masculine is wanting to do what it takes, okay? Followed up by the Page of Cups. We have these two um, individuals over here dancing under the moonlight. And you've got old dude 
writing letters, balling them up and throwing them over his shoulder, okay? So this masculine has definitely written a few letters, okay, that you might not have received. But the Page of Cups is also an apology. So, you know, even though the masculine wants to come and sweep you off your feet, they might just end up coming forward with a small message of love um, or some sort of confirmation. Again, for some of you, this could be in the physical. For some of you, this could be a confirmation in the 5D. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to uh, your thoughts, your visions, anything that would give you that confirmation, okay? And then also we have the death card. <clears throat> As my throat literally closes up. So the masculine intends to cut off and dead once and for all anything that is no longer serving them. Death is transformation and rebirth. So the masculine could very well intend to resurrect this relationship between the two of you and rebirth everything like a phoenix, burning down the past and rising up to create a new future. So you can see here too, we have this couple, they're laying together, right? They just got done having sex. The deed is done. They're relaxing now. So there's something about this, like once the masculine finally cuts off a third party or ends a certain way of living slash thinking, um, whatever this is specifically for your story, they intend to have a rebirth in this connection, okay? So let's clarify the Knight of Wands as their true desires. Eight of Pentacles and the world. So clearly they're wanting to show you that they're putting in the effort, okay? Um, this person could also be like putting in extra hours at work or like really, really trying hard to stack that coin. As you can see on their mind is the Nine of Pentacles, but in their truest desires, we have the Eight. So for some of you guys, this masculine is still like busting their hump at work, Um you know, burying themselves in work. This could be like a tactic, um, especially if if for some of you that was resonating where the masculine is like basically packing up their shit and leaving in the middle of the night. Um, they could be behind the scenes like really, really trying, dedicating their life to work and just saving up all their money so they can finally break free and be independent and close out this cycle for good with the world signifying completion and success, okay? And look, more of this energy of admiring the feminine laying here in her naked beauty under these satin sheets and the masculine is just like caressing her feet okay so for some of you your masculine could have like a foot fetish but ultimately i see that the masculine is wanting to come in your direction once they're completing um these cycles that they have to complete okay there are still lessons that need to be learned ultimately and you know again coming forward in the night energy just says like they're feeling very impulsive right now, right? Their desire is to not think. They just want to act, okay? They just want to act on their passion for you. Um, consequences be damned, right? So let's clarify the seven of wands as what's going on behind the scenes. Three of swords popped out sharp in the reverse. So clearly this is a third party situation here in this card. I have a feeling that for a lot of you, this poor masculine just wants to admire you, right? But then we have this like shady ass motherfucker up here in the corner who's spying, who's like looking in on what's going on, okay? So there could be some sort of an energy of like maybe there was a discovery from a karmic partner, okay? Maybe there was some things that came out about uh, third party situation. For some of you, your person's karmic partner has straight up found out about you. Okay. And this card coming up in the reverse is telling me like the masculine's no longer fighting for that third party. Okay. They're no longer wanting to be heartbroken and in separation from the one that they truly love. And that's exactly why they're fighting their ass off right now to break free. So let's clarify the wheel of fortune. For their challenge. It was the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, right? We have the Five of Wands again and the Hierophant. 
So quite literally what I'm hearing is this person still needs to close out a karmic cycle with someone that they were married to or committed to. Um, the Hierophant represents marriage, um, you know, spiritual beliefs and um, traditions, traditional values. So, you know, this masculine over here, it's like they want to be with you feminine, but they still have to... Um, they still have to work some things out, okay? They could still be in a marriage. Um, and as you can see, too, we have these two individuals in the Hierophant card. He's, like, cherishing the one, and he's shunning the other. But as you can see, this woman is, is like, clinging to the ring, okay? So for some of you, this karmic partner that your person is still involved with, um, this person only gives a shit about the ring. They only care about the money, the status, what everything looks like to everyone else, okay? This person could be the type that posts on Facebook all the time or, or you know, acts like everything is going so well with their partner, but behind the scenes, the masculine is over here, conflicted as fuck, because all they can do is think about you, feminine. All they can do is think about wanting to get the hell out of their situation so that they can start to finally plan this life with you, okay? And again, I'm thinking about the plans, the, the blueprints, and that one image. So let's clarify the two of wands. The ace of pentacles. Yeah, you know, this this masculine wants to propose to you, feminine. They want to offer you a tangible new beginning, a promise for a bright future, something long lasting. You can see they're sitting here and they're just holding one another. Okay. This masculine wants long term with you. I just heard I already got the ring. Oh shit. So for some of you, this masculine already has a ring, okay? They've already, whether they've purchased it or not, they've maybe just been looking online and thinking about your fingers, feminine, okay? And the rock that they want to put on there. So let's clarify the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. Yeah, they're ready, okay? This has been a idea that they've had for a long time. And I see the Page of Wands as like a missed opportunity sometimes, um, you know, the chance to start something new but needing to wait. And you can see this meeting out in the woods here, right? There's this passionate energy and the way she's tossing her head back just kind of tells, look at her wrapping her leg around him and everything. This tells me that there's, for some of you, there's been a very long separation period where it would literally look like this when you finally we're back in your masculine's arms, okay? And bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands, wounded warrior. So in the past, to clarify that energy, right? Um, they're taking things slow because they've been I just heard abused. Oh my God. They've been abused for far too long. Okay. They've, they've lived a long life of doing everything for everyone. Okay. Carrying everyone's shit. And now they're ready to persevere and pursue their true passions, feminine. And again, this secret meeting you can see in the background, we have the, uh, the image of the fool. Okay. She's on his lap and he's reaching towards her, but it looks like she's reassuring him. He's brushing the hair out of her face. This is a moment of intimacy, okay? This masculine is, is tired of, of living for others. They're tired of doing everything everyone else wants them to do, okay? They want their queen of wands. They want their sexy, divine feminine, Okay, doing a little strip tease out in the woods. And he is intently watching. Okay. By the way, I'm sorry about my nails, you guys. My kids were coloring on them earlier. <laughs> um the flame is lit, okay? Queen of Wands is a manifesting machine. She's literally magic. This masculine knows who you are. And the temperatures are rising. 
For real, I feel like a major sexual energy, especially with that very first card that popped out, like how do you even how do you even read that any differently? Temperance underneath that, more about that patience we saw earlier, right? This masculine has been patient, but they're understanding that everything is being aligned perfectly. Okay, they see now where everything is happening for a reason, divine timing and all that, right? So they could be waking up to the fact that they've had to kind of go through all this crap because they needed to learn lessons. They, things needed to be aligned. This is an alchemical balance and also the energy of twin flames. So let's go ahead and get some additional information from the Under the Roses Lenormand. Anything else we need to know about this Divine Masculine and their situation? That one popped up right on top of the Hierophant card, so I'm interested. The Child. Okay. So we have the child and we have the grave. So first of all, I feel like this masculine, this has been a very common theme. If you guys haven't already checked out the Zodiac readings for Pisces season, this was a very relevant theme in those readings. This divine masculine, they don't just want to have sex, okay? They don't want to just connect with you in that physical way. They want to have a child, okay? They want to have a baby, for some of you, since this card landed on top of the Hierophant, that could be the issue, okay? This person that they're with may not want the same things as they do, or this could be basically saying that this person that they're committed to is acting like a child or that they are childish, okay? So with the grave coming up as well, Nine of Pentacles, this is really all they want, okay? And the number eight signifying a karmic cycle being complete, also signifying abundance. But something needed to be debted metaphorically, okay? Um, for some of you, there could have actually been a death in the family. That's not for everyone. Um, if that is for you, my condolences. Um but the grave signifies something coming to an end, okay? Something ending for good. So with this whole like gravestone here, like rest in peace, like standing out there with the umbrella, like I just feel like this masculine knows that if they stay in this situation, that they're basically digging their own grave, okay? And that might sound morbid, but it's facts, all right, so underneath the deck, we have the sun, ace of pentacles again, divine masculine energy, positivity, optimism, joy. So this could be a confirmation for some of you that, yes, this reading is accurate. <laughs> and look at that, right underneath that, we have the letter, okay, seven of Seven of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. So we're talking about sending a message, communicating with someone. It also says documents here. So this could be talking about legal documents that need to be filled out. This Divine Masculine could also be feeling the urge to reach out to you. Uh, again, we saw that card earlier where they're writing the letters over and over again, throwing them out. Cats playing with them in the corner like they're cat toys. Um, so again, you know, keep in mind that this Masculine could very well look the Owls, Seven of Pentacles, and it says here, excitement, conversation, communication, okay? So this masculine could very well want to have a conversation with you um, and maybe start things off by sending you a letter, maybe even a text message, an email. But the owls to me signify um, the twin flames as well because uh, they're both awakened, right? And they're both together and they're both in union, but it requires open communication for that to happen, okay? So for some of you with the clock tower, that's exactly what you've been waiting for, okay? You've been very patient. So 
this card even says separation and structure, enlightenment, protection, perspective. So all of these things that are popping up are just basically clarifying what we were talking about throughout the whole reading. Your masculine knows what time it is. Okay. They already know. And then we have the ring right underneath that. I already got the ring. I keep hearing it. I already got the ring. They already picked it out. For some of you, they already actually bought it. Okay. So let's get some lovers oracles and see what spirit's advice is. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is a message straight from your masculine. They're telling you to look within your heart. Okay, everything you're feeling, they're feeling. Everything you're thinking, they're thinking. And the love that they have for you is literally endless, okay? We also have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. That's exactly what I said earlier. When you do the inner work, that's when the important shifts start happening in the physical in the masculine's world. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Ugh, oh my goodness. So for those of you who have doubts, for those of you who go back and forth and do the, um, is it or isn't it? Am I crazy? Is this real dance? There are miracles manifesting behind the scenes. Okay. Trust in your heart that you already know the truth and continue to follow the signs. Okay. Let's get one more. Any other messages we need to see from the divine masculine, from spirit? Oop. I really said one more and a whole chunk came out. So we have reflection, which reminds me of the mirroring concept of twin flames. Okay. Give each other some space at the moment. More of the same messages. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So going back to that temperance energy, everything is being divinely orchestrated for your highest good. Only time will tell, okay? So um, again, talking about trusting in the timing, trusting that you're right where you need to be at every moment of every second of every day. And finally, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So, you know, emotions, same as your thoughts, are not actually who you are, okay? You are a soul. You are a being, okay? So remember, your emotions that come up, any triggering things that happen for you uh, along the journey, please take those with a grain of salt. Okay. Be objective because ultimately your heart, your soul already knows the answer. So don't allow any fleeting emotions of doubt, fear, worry, stop you from welcoming your twin back home. Okay. If any of you are still holding on to resentment from the past, it's time to let it go, okay? I'm not telling you to let go of your twin flame. I'm telling you to let go of the emotions that are keeping you stuck in place, that are keeping you stuck in the past, okay? So let's get some eternal messages from your twin as we are literally at one hour, eight minutes, <laughs> and 18 seconds, okay? So it has been a long reading, but hopefully y'all enjoy. Um, and again, there will be additional messages uh, at the end if you are a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society members only area. So what does the Divine Masculine want to say to the feminine at this time? I know more than you think. Mm. What did I tell you, feminine? You might be over here, la, 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 thinking, you know, your divine masculine left you at the curb and, you know, <laughs> 
They don't even care, right? They know more than you think. They know what's going on in your life, feminine. They know how you're feeling. They know what you're thinking because you are them, okay? I am always reminded of you. So again, like I said earlier, they are getting the signs. They're getting the synchronicities. They're getting the messages and the confirmations just like we are. What else do we need to see from... All right, just, you know, fly across the room. That's okay. I've thought about having a family with you. Exactly. That child card I told you earlier, this masculine's wanting to start a family. They want to have a baby. It was you. It was always you. Like I said, I feel like these messages are literally confirming everything I've said in this reading already. We also have, I've been astral projecting to you. Yes, they are connecting with you in the 5D. They want to be in union with you. Ugh. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go. <sighs> I'm done running from this connection. Oh my God. Let's get one more. One more chunk. Actually, you know what? Look at this. This one flipped over. I'm protecting this connection. Oh my God. I'm being subliminal with how I feel about you. Exactly, you guys. I'm telling you, all they want to do is connect with you. All they want to do is connect with you. And look at that bottom of the deck. I keep a close eye on your social media. Exactly. We already knew, Divine Masculine. We already knew. So hopefully this reading resonated with you guys. Again, stay tuned at the end for an additional spicy subscriber message. I love you guys so much and I hope you are doing very well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.